people said about this passage. Now I think about it.
I don't really care. playing a little bit but uh, little first world problems I'm very tired so I don't want to run through she wants Christ Lariana um, so I don't know what to do here <laughs> I have two hours uh, I don't think I can leave early I also don't want to leave early interesting reverb here I think because the stage is wide like this it's wide it's quite nice, it kind of envelopes the attack of the piano. But of course tomorrow when the hall is filled with people, maybe the envelope will be less apparent. Yesterday at the academy I played on a Steinway that is about 10 years younger than this one, at least. And this action, they both have this weirdness. It's weird. Yes, I, I am calling you weird, but um, you see, it's not the first time that I've encountered pianos with this kind of... Although I don't think I have um, encountered a Steinway recently, if at all, in a concert stage that has this action. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't usually encounter these pianos on the stage. But it doesn't matter if it was a Model B yesterday or if it's a Model D today. It's, um, I don't know, I want to say even close to 15 years of age. It's not an age thing, but this thing is weird. The fact that you can so easily play without a sound. Like, what, why? I don't understand. So a lot of times I can easily, accidentally, not play a note. Look at that. See, if I hit, not hit, but you know, if I flap my fingers around, it does not play a sound. But if I stay closer to the keys, I have to dig deeper to get a sound. So all of this is kind of wasted. I, I don't understand why it's um I I don't know why it's like this. Maybe I haven't played enough older Steinway Hamburgs, but it's strange for me. But I'll get used to it. 
I'm lucky that I am able to have time in this hall today and tomorrow. Uh, technically, I have five hours in total to get used to the hall and the piano. That's unusual. It's not super unusual. Sometimes it does happen where I get time on stage the day before the concert as well as on the day, but at least I have the partner in crime to get used to. You know, sometimes when you have your alarm go off in the morning and you don't want to get up, that's what my fingers feel like. It's a very loud piano, so hopefully I can get the soft parts even because of this strange action. Some of you might know that I started a podcast called Under the Piano, and I actually thought about <laughs> recording it, <laughs> but I'm currently too tired. Otherwise, that is a possibility, maybe in the future. Like imagine if I recorded all of my podcasts on the stage under the piano when I have a lot of concerts. I feel like that would be quite fun. But for now, it's mostly going to be recorded under my actual home piano. Actual, as if there is a fake one. Just not a stage piano, because it's not all the time that I get stage time anyway, so it would be weird if I said, hey, can I have time on stage just to record this <laughs> podcast? That's not very nice. <laughs> After I play shoe one, I feel better. I'm still tired, but I always feel better. And my fingers feel better after I play <laughs> shoe one Chrysleriana. Now I'm gonna go back to my hotel, finish editing the podcast episode so I can have that out into the world so I don't have to think about it when I play the concert tomorrow. Good morning. Do I want Venice inspiration, Rome inspiration, or Stockholm long? Let's go for Rome. That passage, I told myself the hours before performing, 
that I'm definitely going to miss. I'm definitely going to miss those passages. And it's okay. What do you do before going on stage? I don't really have a ritual or anything. Unless you count eating and sleeping. Or taking a short nap. Or a long nap. <laughs> I don't have a very strict routine. Definitely going to miss. Like I kept telling myself, heh, I'm gonna miss. Turns out I didn't miss them during the performance. Quite a full house. I need a little break, but I appreciate your extensive applause after the Beethoven. Schumann is next. Were there fumbles? A little bit in the last movement, but I made it through. I got distracted by someone's keys. Someone was dangling keys. If it's a child, that's actually great because it means that a child is attending a classical piano concert, but <clears throat> it uh, affected my hearing and then I think I played a little bit something not technically correct, but harmonically correct. And I always get so thirsty. my last recital of the year and um, I will feel lots of intense emotions probably an hour or two from now. You were so loud with your applause and um, so many young people in the audience which yeah was surprising to me and I mean I love all generations of audiences but this stood out to me so I just wanted to point that out and it was very very nice to meet so many of you camera is running out of battery um, so I'll talk to you another time thank you or huala huala? I think it's huala thank you in Croatian the day after my concert in Zagreb I did a little talk with students someone asked how I deal with nerves i think a lot of people ask about this and i thought maybe i could tell you a little bit about my experience with performing throughout the years as a way to start this episode 